Here at Junkyard Haunts, we turn trash into hunts. Today, we're going to be making a very simple project, barbed wire. Now, barbed wire has what looks like two strands wrapped around itself. So you'll just want to take a piece of string that is the exact same size and just kind of twist it around itself a little bit. You'll want to mix Mod Podge with some paint. I had some silver spray paint, so I just sprayed that in there. It's turned out the color that I wanted, but really it was a hard to mix. I suggest using regular acrylic paint to, paint to mix into your Mod Podge. This is where it will get messy because you'll want to dunk the whole string inside this Mod Podge. That's what will make it hard and look more like barbed wire. As you're mixing it, you'll want to twist the string around itself so that it gets that twisty look that barbed wire has. Since this is such a simple project, it won't look great on its own. Really, you want to combine this with another prop to add details to that other prop. Here you notice I'm actually pulling the string apart and then I'm going back and re-wrapping it around the other string. I noticed it was just like twisting up and not look really looking like a wrap every once in a while. So that's what I did, but in the end I noticed that it, that it was a very small change and I probably could have kept it how it was, but I just wanted to, to go the extra mile to make the barbed wire try to look as real as possible because in real barbed wire their twists happen every once in a while it's not as as often as I had it and because I untwisted it and unraveled it I actually went back and re-added some more Mod Podge around it so that those twists will stay where I wanted them but again the first attempt that I did probably would have looked just as good. This will take a while to dry, so you'll want to set it aside and work on other projects. Check out other videos. But when it does, we're gonna go back and actually add the little prongs that are on the barbed wire, the little pointy things. The, these are the parts that will take your, your string and actually bring it out, or else it just looks silly without it, really. So you'll, you'll do the same process of, of getting shorter pieces of string you can line them up next to each other and cut them off so they're all the same size but it could look better if they're different sizes throughout so it looks like some of the things are broken I do the same technique of dunking these little pieces in the Mod Podge mixture and then I actually just tie a knot around the, the big string when I put the prongs on I didn't want them right next to each other because that's not how a real barbed wire is I actually spaced them out. I just eyeballed them, but I spaced them out about a foot apart or 12 inches and tried to make them as even looking as possible by just eyeballing it. I noticed a lot of strings still peering through and I wanted mine to be have the gray completely covered. So I went back in with just the gray paint and did some touch ups. The Mod Podge, when it dried, it made the string really, really hard and tough to actually bend and twist. And that's okay because that's, that's closer to how barbed wire really is. And so that will make it feel more real and look more real from a distance because it will be so hard. If you didn't use the Mod Podge mixture, it would be very loose and like sway in the wind or anything like that. Because I went back in and touched up so much of the barbed wire I realized that I probably could have just added the paint after I built the barbed wire but in the end more paint doesn't hurt I wanted to add some rust to the barbed wire so I actually took a little bit of brown paint and just rubbed it in just random places around the barbed wire and then I have the the spray that's actually used for blood which if you've seen my tombstone is on there it turns out a little pink but on this, that's actually kind of a better color because then it looks more like rust instead of blood, which if you're going for blood, then use something different. But rust is really good for barbed wire. I wonder if you guys can even see that. Probably blends in, huh? 
Oh well, it still looks good. Thanks for following along. Hopefully you liked that video. At the end, I like to go over what I could have done better so I can improve myself. This turned out really, really stiff, really hard, and, and not like the barbed wire that I want to be able to wrap around projects very easily. So I would have added a lot more water to the Mod Podge, and then it would have been less stiff, but still had the structure that I would have wanted. Don't forget to hit subscribe, comment below, tell me what you guys want to have in the future, and maybe I'll make that next. Barbed wire is not meant to be the feature, it's, your, it's meant to add to your other decorations. So, you just take the barbed wire, and if you wrap it around your other hand, your other creations, like that, you can make your other decorations look even better. Woo! Still holding on.